All right, guys, you saw the thumbnail. Welcome to the 2024 300 XCW first look video. We're going to Davis Service Center to pick it up. Uh, unlike some other YouTube and internet clowns, which I've also been called, uh, we actually waited to get our bike from our local dealer. We did not drive out of state. We kept our money in the town. I'm really proud of that, honestly. I'm very proud of keeping our money in town uh, with our good friends at Davis Service Center. So let's go get that thing. Troy, where's my bike? Oh. Guys, this man right here, if you ever need a motorcycle, come talk oh, to Jimmy. Troy. He's a good dude. He's been doing this a long time. You can talk to him too. <laughs> Actually, anyone here at Davis Service Center, they're rad. Let's take this thing back and take it apart and take a look at it. Woohoo! There she is, 24 300 XCW. Guys, like I said before, this is going to be Mr. Angry Zach's bike. After we get done all of our testing, hanging parts, things like that, this is going to be Zach's bike. I'm really excited about that. Uh, he's been riding 08 or 09. 250XC for way too long. It's time for him to have a modern bike and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> There's Zach. Pretty sure this is the first new motorcycle for Mr. Sheets. And uh, like I said, stick with us here for the video, guys. We are gonna be digging in and taking a close look at this, but we gotta get Zach to go ride it around. Um, because you know, new bike day and all. How many people wanna see Zach do wheelies in the parking lot? Wow. It's ours now, so he can crash it. Doesn't matter. Ooh. Is that a map button? No, which is interesting. No map button. I'm sure it's like an addition for this one, which is weird. Is it idle? Huh? It's pretty spicy to me. Does it? <laughs> so Zach was hoping for a map button to calm it down. <laughs> All right, we gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Start there. Oh, we're getting there. Alright, we'll go with that for now. Initial impression. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Happy. We're gonna go right through the rocks. Alright guys, we got her on the lift. Let's get into this thing. Let's take a good look at it. Uh, this is the first look video, first impression video. Not really first impressions, although Zach did give us his first impression. He thinks it's fast. Uh, so <laughs> that's awesome. I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's just go uh, tip to butt on this thing. We're just going to talk about everything. Uh, it is coming with the Dunlop, what is this thing, X33F front tire. Not my favorite front tire, but it's fine. Whatever. It's a tire. It holds air. It's fine. Uh, got the same, uh, you know, cast but machined wheels, uh, Brembo brakes, same front axle as the XC and all the other ones in the past. Uh, it's got the um, magnet for the computer up here. Let's talk about this light, guys. Light is brand new. It is an LED. Let's fire this thing up and take a look at it. These are terrible. So... One thing I want to talk about, it's pretty cool. New button. I like that a lot. It's not that old pull switch. This thing is bright. Of course, it looks bright on camera. It is really bright in person. There you go. So it died. It's not warmed up. Um, I've been working on another bike. Uh, obviously set to a time delay. It's going to go off here in just a second. At least it should. There we go. Um, but I really like the button. Button is much better then the old style it's low profile i think it's gonna be good won't get broken it does look like it's probably pretty <laughs> expensive if you do break it like if you get in here and look at it it's fancy um 
See, how is this held on? Uh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. So it's got two screws up top. Let's take those things out. Get behind this thing. That's actually interesting. You don't even have to take them all the way out. There we go. So, pretty cool. LED, got a heat sink back here. Seems pretty burly, I like that a lot. Um, plug, nice waterproof plug for that. Uh, it's got, so it's got the same terrible switches. We will be replacing those. Those are already on the way from Moto Minded. By the way, guys, Moto Minded has those in stock and they actually cleaned them up even better than on mine. They're even a little bit more uh, slim. They did a little more machining on the aluminum, uh, make them a little bit smaller. I love them. They're in stock. Call Moto Minded LLC. They're in Grand Junction. Best buttons ever. These buttons are terrible. They're hard to feel. It just, they're no good. So that's going to go away. We're going to have um, buttons left and right. I don't know. Zach will choose whether he wants to start on the left or that's up to him. I, I like to start on the left, but I don't care what he does with this bike. It's his. Obviously, we have the uh, computer, just like all the other KTMs have been. Um, 0.1 hours, the thing's brand new. <laughs> uh, set in kilometers per hour, so we'll have to figure out how to change that. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta figure that out. Someone's gonna already comment. We'll figure that out. Uh, Brembo clutch master cylinder, Brembo front brake master cylinder. Uh, let's go back to the other thing that's uh, big news. We It is the TBI motor, and you can see it does still have the casting marks for the old uh, transfer port injectors, but obviously they're not there, but it is oil injected um, Now some people are gonna like that some people aren't gonna like it. I actually like it. I personally on my bike the XC I like to have it be um, Premix I like to mix the gas. I just yeah it makes me feel good I know there's gas in it, but I like the fact that they are offering it not a lot of oil pump failures on the TPI's and I think this one's going to be great. It'll probably be really easy to block it off and get rid of it if you want. But I think it's going to be good because a lot of folks out there that got back onto two strokes because they didn't want to mix gas. They got tired of that from the old days. And when the two stroke came out with oil injection again, they're like, ah, I'm in. So I think that's cool. Also, it's going to make this kind of a cool, like dirty dual sport, right? So you can just pull up to a gas station, fill it up and go. Um, here's something I don't like about this. And this is silly. Um, so the cap, fine, whatever, take that off. But look, it's black. Everything's black. You can't see where the oil, I mean, I can, I can see it because I'm right here, but it's not easy to see. So I really don't like that at all. I wish that was clear or white like the old one. Be easier to see. Also, really hard to tell if there's oil in the tank. And it's a new style tank. We're going to take this gas tank off, guys, so you can see it better. But there's a part of a tank here, then there's a hose. Part of a tank here really hard to see if there's oil in the tank and up there so i mean just top it off whatever but you're going to end up spilling a lot of oil on these bikes i think these bikes are going to be notorious for having oil running down the frame uh i got the same dumb uh radiator cap that's hard to get off whatever i'm not going to talk about that uh <laughs> it just is what it is radiators are the same plastics are the same shape uh, one of the things about this bike is it's very much like the XC. Lots of things. The foot pegs are the same. Uh, the triple clamps are not, and it's actually kind of interesting. They're cast with this cool, like, little machining in it um, just to make them look cool. But the interesting thing to me is they've changed the tightening torques. They've got 20 newton meters and 15. It used to be 12 and 17. Uh, I don't know if they changed that on the new 24 uh, XC's but on my 23 XC it's still the billet and it's 17 and 12 not 20 and 15 so I mean big deal but it is different I'm just reporting that is not a <laughs> judgment I don't really care um, obviously one of the big things guys we got the cartridge forks we got the spring cartridge forks both bikes now the XC and the XCW coming with the same forks I think that is one of the smartest things KTM has done in a long time Having two different whole platforms of fork seemed like a huge waste of money to me. Also silly because the air fork and all that, people didn't like it, some people did. That's a personal preference, not good or bad, it's just personal preference. But <clears throat> I think a lot of people can agree that spring forks are more plush 
and uh, obviously on a W, that's what you want. The Explorer forks were never my favorite out of the box. I'm really excited to see how these work out of the box. I've heard good things already. Um, obviously, you got compression up top, rebounds easy to get to on the bottom. Let's take a look and see if they've got the toolless set up down here. Yep, there you guys go. You can see you get the toolless rebound adjuster. You can reach up there, click that sucker. Pipe looks about the same. I don't know if it is. My old one is up there and stacked up up there. It's pretty hammered, but it looks very close to the same if it's not exactly the same. It's got the, the leaf tent mounts of the same one here, one up there. Um, one big thing, guys, I already mentioned it earlier when I was looking at it with Zach, no map switch. That's an interesting thing. Uh, my guess is it's an option now. You got to buy for the W, which I find super annoying. It's a very expensive motorcycle. Uh, by the way, I did pay for this motorcycle. This is not given to me. So um, it's a, yeah, it's an expensive thing. I feel like they should have come with the map switch. Uh, maybe I can talk to Davis. We can get a super smoking deal on that. But I, yeah, it's a little bit weird they didn't do that. Uh, comes with the same skid plate as the XC. I really like this skid plate. I ran it in the Hardenduro last weekend. I like it a lot. I like the mounting points here. And yeah, <clears throat> they're good. Uh, clutch cover looks to be the same. Cylinder, um, the power valve covers are all the same. Um, but back to the uh, no map switch. It's a bummer because you can't adjust the power valve on this anymore. There's no screw style because it's electronic. So unfortunately, you don't get those two maps. It's two very distinct maps like you do on the XC. Uh, now, I don't know. I know you got a lot of guys going to ask, well, is it the same map as the white map? I don't know. I don't know if it's the same. We Trust me, we will dig deep into that. We will find out, but I don't know right now. Uh, the shock. It's PDS shock, as with all the Ws. Got our toolless adjustment here for low speed, high speed. And then here is the rebound. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it's like an old Olin's um, clicker, so you rotate the whole thing uh, to click it. So, I don't know. I think that's fine. I don't know. Seems a little weird, but at the same time, it's easy to get to. Um, it's way more toolless than the XC, which is hardly toolless on the rebound. You really cannot get to that thing uh, with the linkage. It's just dumb. Um, but, yeah, I think that's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, all it needs to do is move a needle up and down in there, so it's going to work just fine. Uh, Brembo rear caliper. As always, same axle as the XC. It's the 30 millimeter nut, the 22 millimeter axle, I believe is what they are. It comes with the Bridgestone, AT81, 18 inch. Uh, it's got the same shape silencer as the XC, but it's longer. So a guy could probably, I'm sure, just put an XC silencer on here if you wanted a short one, or you could shorten it up. Uh, we're gonna be putting a Spanish Fly uh, spark arrester on it. Thank you, Brett Dooley. Tail light, nice LED tail light. I like the XCW tail lights. They're nice, They're clean, small, effective. They work great. Uh, gearing, let's see what we got for gearing. Ha, huh. that's <laughs> crazy time. So you guys may be able to notice here, that's a 45 rear sprocket, 45 tooth rear sprocket. That is redonkulously small. Um, that's nuts. Uh, then we got a 13 front, so the XC came with 1449. Mine did, I think they went to 1448 for 24. Um, anyway, mine was 1449. I now have it at 1352 for the Hardened Euro stuff. I'll probably go back to a 1350 for most things. Um, but yeah, 1345, that's nuts. I don't know. Zach rode around, I don't know, we were just on the pavement, so I don't know how it felt, but that is crazy gearing. Um, oh, and by the way, guys, we will be riding this thing bone stock without any modifications to get back to you on how that feels. No mods until we ride it. Uh, so don't worry about it. We're going to let you know what this gearing feels like and all that stuff. Electronic power valve. Tank is the same, guys. Still does not have a low pickup. That's annoying. Still has the pump up in the center, the whole splashy thing. I don't love it, but it does seem to work most of the time. Uh, let's take a look at the air box. <clears throat> Sure, it's the same. Yep, that does not have nearly enough oil on it, so we'll take care of that. Um, same air filter as the XC, same air box, nice clean air box. I really like this, honestly. Regulator rectifier right there. 
hopefully staying cool as air comes across and goes through there. CCP sensor, same as the XC, nice big hose instead of the little one. Um, kind of just floats around there, but it looks good. I like it. Um, definitely gonna need a throttle position sensor cover to uh, help protect all this so no sticks come in here and jack anything up. Uh, fuel connectors the same as the XC. Electronic power valve all looks the same. Ignition cover looks the same. Now we know that since it's got lights, hopefully that means it's got a better stator. We're gonna find out what the wattage is. Make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said before, those other internet clowns out there, uh, they're gonna try to sell you everything they can sell you because that's what they do. I like to report on things. I like to modify things and stuff like that, but I'm not here to sell you stuff. I'm here to report to you and tell you what's good. Now, if you wanna buy things from me that we recommend, that's awesome. You wanna help support us, that's super cool. You wanna be on our Patreon page, whatever, that is awesome. I really appreciate that. You wanna buy us a coffee, there's a link down there. Um, we have affiliate links for different parts, but my main goal is to just tell you what I think, what I like, what I don't like, all that stuff. Um, and I just have to mention again, I was, I know I'm late to the party here. Um, you know, Jeff beat me, he got his bike early, but he left the state, he took his money elsewhere. We kept it in town with our good friends at Davis Service Center. I feel like that means a lot. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, Jeff talked about the bar position. He got all whiny. Uh, about the bar position because there's only two positions now instead of four on the old W's. Uh, to that I say, Jeff, toughen up. You'll be all right. Um, just choose one of the bar positions. It's okay. Uh, let's take this thing off and take a look at what he's talking about. So it's got the cone style uh, like the other ones, like the XC's. But instead of, so it doesn't have two holes on either side, just got one and the bar mount is eccentric. So it's, it's backwards or forwards. So you either have it closer to you, further away to you. Right now they are closer to us. Again, I'm gonna let Zach decide, but we're gonna leave it stock for at least a ride or two. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like any chance of having different bar positions is pretty cool. I'm not gonna complain about that. All right, let's take the takeoff and get down under. Take a look here. We have entered the CAN bus world. So you can see right here, ignition lights, brake horn, pump fan. So that is all locked up in a dumb box. Uh, mine has a, few, a fuse. It's got the main fuse right here like mine, uh, but that is not cool. I, my pump, my fuel pump has uh, set of just a fuse. So I don't like that. Looks like this is the OBD port, it's not the OBD2, it's got a tip over sensor, I don't think mine does. ECU here, yeah, that's interesting, I don't love that, this supposedly, oh yeah, so it's got, it's got the lights, supposedly those lights, see what happens when we fire it up. The cool thing is, it means you're going to be able to plug a fan in like the brake and horn are working. I don't know what that is. There's no fan plugged in. It's going to obviously be a factory accessory. Battery's still in the same dumb place. It's not terrible, but it's not easy to get to because the way they've got it configured. Aha! I hit the button and there's no blinky lights. That's good. Let's get that tank off. So here it is. Definitely weird oil tank system so tank here tank here and then it goes to the same setup as the other one it's kind of interesting the routing is a little funky gonna make sure that doesn't get weird um but just drips oil right in there i think it's gonna be good um i like I'm sure it's to meet emission standards. That's why they did it. So they can make the W. I'm sure they have an EXC in, uh, look at that. That's cool. Never seen that one. Name, weird zero, datum, Manfred Hamminger. Anyway, that's cool. Inspected something on here. You can see it right already. There's oil. These things are going to be notorious for oil everywhere. Um, 
but same two-piece cylinder head we'll be taking that off later guys again subscribe we'll be checking all that out um i'm sure it's got the same style head probably lower compression than the other one this bike is claiming like eight less horsepower they say mine is 57 they say this one is 49 so um that's fine i don't think there's any problem with that in my mind um a little less horsepower is okay i'm sure it's got a lot of grunt we will be reporting on all of that uh same idle adjust kind of a pain to get to same cold start also a pain to get to but they work good they work fine this bike is definitely going to want to be warmed up more like the tpi than my bike uh, my bike i kind of just get on it and warm it up like an old car bike because there's oil in the gas and it's all running just spraying in from the fuel injectors <laughs> this one's going to be more like warmy uppy take it nice and easy uh, because it's dripping that oil in uh, fortunately the fuel's coming in behind it so it's grabbing that oil and spreading it everywhere uh, which is good but uh, i'm sure you're gonna need to warm it up i mean you should warm up your bike anyway i know someone's jumping in you warm the bike up anyway because it's a bike. shut up i know i get it but just gonna have to be a little more on top of it than uh with the carbureted one or like mine uh, i do want to show you guys this is interesting so the fuel tank vent or like the yeah the tank vent it's got this crazy hose it goes down i don't even know where it goes i think it ends right there let's see yeah does it yeah so that's weird i don't know why <laughs> Extend it so far instead of just running it into the frame like they did on mine. It seems like it's excessive. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, but whatever. <laughs> Same lock-on ODI grips. Foot pegs are still cool, just like mine. They're really, really nice. Great kickstand like that. Brake pedal, same as the, uh, the XC. Brake tip, same as the XC. All right, guys. And as always, KTM gives us a little bit of something. Let's check it out. Fork stickers, we're not going to need those because we're definitely going to be valving these things uh, with TBT stuff. Um, got a little thing so we can remove these hand guards and put the boots over there. We're going to run enduro engineering flags like I do on mine. Let's see, we've got, looks like the dongle. So, first of all, those are the bolts. If you get one of these guys and they don't give you these, and these go talk to your dealer. They're holding back. That's kind of cool. They got some extra little straps for wires and things like that. Um, this must be the dongle for resetting the power valve when you do a top end. Got wash cap for the fuel injection. And look at this a different cam for the throttle. So <clears throat> I don't know which one this is. We got our manual we'll read that but this is a different cam one of the cams is a more aggressive one is less aggressive i don't know which one this is but that's what that's all about and look actually some tools again they don't they didn't give me crap for tools i don't think i don't think i got anything no so the w came with tools actually a pretty decent setup here got the old school with the torx and So we got a six, eight, ten, and all the torques. Pretty cool. Nice axle wrench slash spark plug wrench. Oh, by the way, you cannot get to the spark plug with the tank on. That sucks. 13, 10, 10, 7 for spokes. This guy to use all those. And it's an Allen. And nice set of pliers. So honestly. I'm happy to see this. The XC did not come with all this, so thank you, KTM, for getting back on board with some tools. That is cool. I am excited, guys. This bike is sweet. I know that Grumpy Man, he had all kinds of complaints and grump, 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 grumpy tins, um, but I'm excited. I think this is sweet. There's only a couple things I don't love. Um, the oil filler being black is silly, but again, that's minor. Um, what did I say? Oh, the buttons are terrible. Uh, but that's going to get replaced right away. I don't love the CAN bus, but it does seem very convenient. Um, so that's cool. Cool slash not cool. And 
the gearing seems ridiculous. I mean, 1345, that ought to be like a 100 mile an hour motorcycle. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. The 2024 300 XCW. Um, very excited to give you guys all the information about this thing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you tell your friends about it. If you've got one of these, comment below. If you're one of the Punk Rock Club, give us a rock and roll sign. We love you guys very much. Uh, stay tuned. Zach is going to be riding this thing, reporting. I'm going to make him actually talk to the camera, which is really hard to do, but I'm forcing him because I'm giving him a motorcycle, so he has to. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, guys. Sorry. Uh, came back here just for a second. I realized. So that dongle thing I showed you is actually not for setting the power valve. They don't give you one of those on this bike. That is for waking up the oil pump. So when you have to do any work to the oil pump, you plug that in, it wakes it up, primes the pump. Uh, also, it comes with a BR7ES plug. Interesting, since they're having problems with that. <laughs> Fallon plugs on the XCs. And I think that's about all I found when digging through the book. So make sure you guys put any questions you have below. I will answer them in the next video, I promise. So. I'll probably try to answer them here online in the comments, but I'll definitely uh, do a follow-up video for any other questions you guys have on this bike. Um, again, pretty excited.